what is happening world my name is Jeff Redston I want to welcome you to shed talk yo what's happening happy Thursday thirsty Thursday oh man it is eight o'clock in the morning so I got a cherry fresca how about a fresca Yo, yesterday was a good day at the Trizzy. We hit the early pick four, early pick five, middle pick five, or middle pick four. Um, Didn't pay a ton, but like I had to explain to my buddy that I've been teaching the horses the last, what, I guess three years now. Um... I hammered the fuck out of those things. So I literally made a paycheck in a couple hours. So, like I tell them, when you see something, you have a feeling, go after it. Days like that, like how we had pick fours and pick fives 10, 15 times. So, do the math. Yeah, it only pays 50 bucks. 51 was what? 54 bucks. Oh, I had it 10 times. There's 540 bucks right there. Invested 140 something, 44. Like that. So, yeah. Life lesson. Hammer. Because he was like, why are you so excited? Because uh, I have this hammered. Um, only thing that didn't work out for me was my double. Um, I like the 8-8. Eight, eight. Gave me ran, run, but nothing really. That 12, though, came through price, so that's what gave us the 52 or whatever it paid. Oh, damn. It is a great card at Del Mar today. Love the late pick four. Have the whole thing capped, but uh, we're going to go over this pick four. Starts in race five. I hate that it's a maiden 20 claimer. What the hell? That ends the early pick five. I'm not a big fan of the early pick five. Too many early maiden claimers. I'll play still, but very. I'll tread lightly. I do like this late pick four because of the seventh race. But the fifth race, we're going to go the seven big gun drop in class. Seven to two. Hopefully two to one. Five to two would be dope. Uh, Kokorian first time gelding. My MO can't go against them. Do like the 11 and the 1 also dropping. The 11 has Rispoli up at 4 to 1. In that race, we also do like the 8. Um, yeah, the structure of this ticket is going to be um, a pretty straightforward 4 by 4 by single by 4 um, for what, 30, 64, yeah, 32. So. Um, we're going to play it lightly. This is going to be the fat ticket. I'm going to play it quite a few different ways skinny because I do really like this three. Even if the horse does regress, um, it, she's just a monster of a cow bread. Anyways, six race. Really do like the one horse. Uh, like the five and a half on the rail. He just needs a break. And we should see something good going from there. Hold on, let me get my form up. Uh, yeah, Devil Moon. Papa Dramu. Uh, Raspoli up 3-1. to one. Um, I do like this 3 with JJ up. Glatt. I don't like the distance for this horse. But I do like the breeding lifetime six out of ten times in the money so really can't complain do like the breeding like i said four to one hopefully we get something close to that then i do like the eight the five the two second choice most likely will probably be the choice dropping from 32 um down to what 20 or no 50 allowance so yeah 
That's still a drop in class for him. Last two, second out by what one and a quarter, and then one and three quarters. With Ramon on, with Ramon returning, breeding Dark Angel over Exceed Excel. Love, especially on that Del Mar turf, should get a nice firm footing. Has been working okay at Los Al. The July was 16th work is the best one I like recently. Uh, going five in that race, we also like the six horse. Um tiger orn uh the other black uh mark glatt horse that horse is dropping i really like franco um yeah it's gonna be a good race going four deep in that well i'm kind of rushing is because i want to get to this seventh race because holy shit this three horse ceiling crusher O'Neal has him a freaking badass, freaking cowbred. Um, the last two are just ridiculous. One by 17, and then one by 15 going against cowbreds in the evening jewel at six and a half, which this race is at seven. And then the last one, um, Maribel, man, something like that, um, was a mile and a 16th and crushed that field by 17. So wheeling back to seven furlongs, hopefully horse breaks, uh, just cruises. Hernandez, one to five, we're going to get one to ten, one to nine, whatever you want to call it, singling the shit out of this thing. Um, we'll wheel it with the six though in exactas, but would love to see her run back in the Salona beach going a mile on the turf for cowbreds for three year olds and up. I'd like to see this speed there or an open company in the grade three Tory Pines, um, for three year olds going a mile for 150 K. So, um, because I could see both those races coming up kind of light. Um, unless you got somebody shipping in that I haven't heard of yet or talked to anybody. So, um, we'll see what happens with that. But this horse could be something this summer. I'd like to see her run twice at Del Mar. Um, that's why I wanted to get to her because she is a badass filly. Um, heard a lot about her last, um, this last spring and couldn't wait for her to run. And she has just been lights out, so... Um, love these Mr. Biggs Dinoformers one of my favorite favorite stallions so that's one of the few good ones still around um, I like I said I like the six Big Pond um, again Mr. Big Kokorian Yank Teen this horse is the only one that's kind of done something as a maiden all the other horses are kind of meh um, the five is what coming out of the Pleasanton Oaks that she won. Um, Tom's regret, but, um, my girl has crushed her in both races that they have raced against by 17 and 15. Uh, so that's why I'm going with the new blood and not with the old blood. Um, cause I was hoping to see this five hopefully scratch and run this weekend but i think i already saw when i was looking last night that it's running in this race so we're gonna go with the six big pond as the second choice so my biggest thing we get down to this last race um in all of my skinny tickets it comes down to uh two horses mainly one i love this eight horse adesia adisa adisa i don't know how to say her name eight horse uh damato smiling tiger over one of my favorite mares silver swallow i remember watching her hell what was that 2000 probably seven through like eight maybe nine 
where she was just hard knocking on the SoCal circuit. Really liked her alphabet soup. I love anything with alphabet soup in it. Um, so seeing Smiling Tiger over alphabet soup, three races, well technically four races, second and a third. I like that she is stretching back out to a mile because if you watch the replay of the April 23rd race at Santa Anita, she was three wide closing lost by it says I think three quarters damn she just needed one more jump so hopefully um, Gonzalez puts her in a good spot lets her just stretch her legs run and closes down old bone stables they're there to get their picture taken that's my wheeling with that three I'm gonna single that eight there's nothing more than Headley, Silver, Swallow, that mare passing on her jeans to this horse. The cross is pretty good. Smiling Tiger does do pretty damn well on the turf um, here in California. So um, I'm stoked. So um, also, like I said, like that 10 going to be on the other on the big ticket strange addiction the breeding good magic is definitely a turf sire over into mischief so that just screams going this mile distance will not be any particular trouble uh, just needs to get a clean break that's mostly with all these horses the 12 same thing um, haven't seen the scratches yet. I don't think they're out. It's only 8.30 my time, so it's only 7.30 in San Diego. So it's they're not going to be out for a little bit. But I do like this 12 horse if it draws in. Um, same thing, just needs a clean break. Um, and if this 12 doesn't draw in, I do will give you alternative horses. So anyways, I do like this 12 um, like the mayor, Magic School was cool. Always love Flincher over in excess. Flincher over Uncle Moe's had been hitting, so there's that in excess um, draw for me. And in excess is just a killer bottom side turf's um, influence. So anytime I see that, I love it. 11 starts, 5 seconds. Yes, that sucks, but. Um, stretching back out to a mile her mile race at Del Mar last spring came what second nope fifth um, but that was a good stacked race also uh, if this 12 does not draw in do like this six Annie's Hope Vronsky over Bar Talk. Um, Chelsea's Hope was a cool horse. I remember seeing that horse run. Um, it's a twenty thousand dollar buy. Has earned sixteen, so they're almost breaking even from the Arizona um, sale. Going back to a mile, four to one. So yeah, that twelve doesn't draw in. Also, if you like anything more that you need for a fourth i do like the five west coast over a more than ready the motto um this jockey trainer combo has been hot it's just going to be one of those races where you have to kind of stretch out if you don't have an opinion i like the eight and i'm also stretching out so um for a nice long shot I do like this four Jersey Sunset um, Jersey Town over this free uh, the Sierra Sunset uh, mare is coming out of the uh, the hell is it called Pleasanton Oaks like I said in the previous race we'll watch how um, 
the five horse in the seventh race runs who the winner was uh, Times Regret or Tim's Regret. Um, so we'll see how that horse runs back. But I do like how this four ran against her. Is a legitimate stakes calibred horse. So at 15 to 1 can keep being overlooked. Can be a super long shot. Like yesterday there was quite a few horses that I couldn't get over that were overlooked that came through. So again, how we're going to play this pick for is a 7, 11, 1, 8 with a 1, 3, 8, 6 with a 3 with 8. 10 12 6 and that's a 30 dollar 32 dollar ticket i am playing quite a few skinny tickets like i said i love that three and that eight in the last two legs so wheeling around those two playing different ways around this three don't think this three is going to be beat today uh, even if the horse regresses still 17 15 lengths not really any of these horses look like they are going to be any competition for her today. O'Neill is going to have a killer freaking. Whew. He's going to have a great Del Mar. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. Everybody. Good luck. Let's have a kick ass day. Cash some tickets. But hey. We also got some Leagues Cup tonight. Last night, let us down. Went one and two, but tonight. Let's go Cincy. This is Shed Talk, and we out. Daga. Thanks, Daga, for that. And this every time. Peace.